Hey everyone, Jake here and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, I mean it's not my intention to <laughs> talk about Rostra's a second video in a row because in my last one I just inserted a clip of him. But like a few weeks ago he posted a video about giving, you know, beginner artists criticism. And, you know, coming from an artist as good as him that has had professional experience in the art and film industry, you know, as valuable information. But then I saw in the comments, a lot of people, you know, not taking it very, like they were, they were taking it personally, basically. And they felt as if he was attacking their art or bashing it. And it just kind of like confused me in a way, but also it made me a bit disappointed in how people take criticism these days. Obviously not everyone, acts like this, but I know for a fact that a lot of people do. I've even given criticism to some people in the past years and they just completely disregarded it or became very defensive over their art and oh it's their style and stuff like that and it's just like how I view it, it's a very toxic mentality because it basically just like stops you from improving. So obviously, if you don't take your art seriously and it's just a hobby and something you just want to have fun with, then sure, you can completely disregard criticism and just do it for fun. But if you're actually looking to improve yourself, take your art seriously and even potentially make a living out of it, criticism is essential to your artistic growth. Now you can obviously improve on your own without criticism. Because eventually, as you, because as you keep on drawing, you will eventually just spot mistakes or improve certain techniques, or you see something, like an artist that you admire do something, and you're gonna try to replicate that or try to get something similar, and you will improve. But if you seek out criticism and have artists that have more experience than you give you feedback and point you in the right direction you will improve so much faster and, you know, waste less time making mistakes. Because yes, a part of growing as an artist is making mistakes and learning from uh, learning from experience. But if you have an artist that has already made those mistakes and can help you avoid them more quickly or fix them more quickly, you'll just improve so much more and, you know, take your art to where you want so much faster. Now, if you're seeking out criticism, you gotta know the difference between constructive criticism and someone that's just straight up bashing your art. You don't want to take, you know, feedback from someone that just says that everything you do is terrible and that there's nothing of value and that you should quit art. That is just bashing. That is just, you know, terrible feedback. Someone that'll give constructive criticism will praise you for what you can do right, and then help guide you into a direction, like the direction that you want to take your art in. They're not going to tell you to change, they're just going to guide you to where you want to be. Now back to when I was talking about those comments that were taking the criticism very personally and as an attack and felt like they needed to, you know, go on the defensive. When you're taking criticism, you need to be completely neutral and keep an open mind. Because when someone's criticizing you, they're not, you know, attacking you, the person. Well, I shouldn't even say attacking. They're not after, like, they're not after you. They're after the artwork. They're trying to fix your work, not you as a person. So just know that when you're receiving constructive criticism, they have, or at least they should have, your best interest in mind, and that you need to keep an open mind. You can take some part of you know, what they're giving you feedback on and then leave other things out. It's all up to you, like what you want to change and what you want to keep out of your art. But you need to be aware that some people have very valuable information that you should try to listen to and implement into your work. So this is all I had to say. It was just, you know, a small rant, I guess you could call it. But I don't want to just shove my point of view in down people's throat. I just want to have an open discussion. I shared my point of view on the topic and I would invite everyone to share their point of view 
in the comments down below. I do think that this can be a very sensitive topic for some people, but really you should just keep, you know, your emotions neutral and just be open to what people have to say about, you know, what you do. So if you have your own opinion or something you'd like to discuss with me, just leave them down in the comments below. And I hope that we can have all a good discussion and sharing our point of views on criticism, how it should be discussed with another artist, and if some people are right to feel the way they do about taking criticism. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I know it was a bit rambly. I only had a few pointers, but... <laughs> I just wanted to get my point across, basically, and share my thoughts. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.